Vermont State Police say what is happening inside this home in Cabot has caused them to visit close to 60 times within five years. The crimes range from assault, theft, fraud, and around 10 calls of overdoses, most recently for a death connected to drugs. Neighbors who didn't want to go on camera say this home has been a hub for illicit activity for years, and they are sick of it. Vermont State Police Trooper Isaac Merriam opened an investigation into the home in March of this year. So it's, it's time to hold her accountable with the charge, and this one fits. It resulted in police issuing a citation to the homeowner, Shelly Corliss. She was arrested in the past for theft. On August 22nd, she is slated to appear in court for new penalties, this time for dispensing or selling regulated drugs in her home. But neighbors we spoke with off camera say a citation isn't enough. And the real problem are the people Corliss allows in her home. Most of the time, there are people couched or thing, you know, coming in from barrier, wherever, and spending the night and then taking off. Vermont State Police tell us their hands are tied. There is little action they can take against people who don't reside in the home. We don't have any right to go in and, you know, see who you're living at. Bobby Searless owns two businesses in Cabot across the street. Cabot is uh, uh, primarily a good Vermont hardworking community. I think like um, all communities across the country, I think that, that people fall through the cracks, have problems, create problems, and um, certainly in Cabot, we would like to see that change. Searless believes issues with the home don't reflect their community, and some neighbors agree, saying Cabot is better than the unwanted attention they've been receiving as of lately. You know, there's just so much good stuff going on, and I think that it, it does us all good to focus on those things.